and hello YouTube, this is JS Man with Smart, and I'm today on a brand new video for tutorials with JS. In today's tutorial, I want to go over how to make text go along a path so that if you create a path or you have a path from a selection or you want text to go in a certain direction or you want it to like arc around or curve or you want it to do like crazy turns, there is a way to do this very easily uh, where the text follows a specific path that you've uh, specified and it will just be on top of that path and you can see the text go all different directions so uh, clearly if you have like a design already made then you would want to follow a specific path on your design but I don't have a design here I'm just gonna make crazy paths that look sort of weird so the way you want to do this is you can uh, use say you have some curves already created for example say you have uh, let me create a new layer real quick Say you have a curve, that's a pretty terrible curve. Say you have this, right? Uh, say this is a curve though. Let's see if I can try to make a curve. All right, say you have something like that. Imagine this is completely straight and fine, right? If you want to, if you want the text to follow this, what you can very easily do is just right click here, right click your layer, or right click the, uh, the portion where you have this little where you have this little uh, this line here you can right click alpha to selection and then if you go ahead on over to your paths menu and the paths dialog box is where where's my paths dialog box do I not have it if you don't have it like me you can go up to windows dockable dialogs and click paths and there it is and then what you can then do at the bottom here is selection to path and you've created a path here right now, uh, the next thing you want to do is go to the text tool, and we're going to type in, this is my awesome path for this tutorial. Uh, be aware that the, the shorter your text is, it's going to fill up a shorter part of the path. The longer your text is, the longer it's going to fill up a part of your path. That is uh, somewhat the annoying part, so clearly you want to have a long enough piece of text. You'll see in just a second. So here we have our text, right? And what we want to do now is right click our text here. And, uh, and what we don't want to do now is right click our text here and click text along a path. And as you see, uh, our text isn't really long enough here. So let's, uh, let's do something else. Let's, let's make this a bit longer. And I love making YouTube videos, right? Let's do something like that. All right, that's fine. So uh, let's once again go here and, oh, why can't I not right click my text? You have to have, you have, to have the, the text tools uh, like in the box here so you can type a uh, text along path again. And there we go, it's a bit, it, it follows the path. You get the point. So uh, what you want to do then is you want to go to your paths tool, your paths dialog box which is right here. And you want to grab the path to selection, which will basically select the text here. So we're going to go ahead and go back here. And what we can then do is hide this text here. And we can actually hide uh, this little black layer I created now. And we can grab uh, a tool, a bucket tool here. And we obviously need a new layer. And we can fill that in. Now the reason why this looks so weird is because uh, we had a pretty big bold line. Uh, you want to have thin lines, but you, I mean, you only understand how you can actually uh, create your own where you can actually follow a specific part of an image and you can follow it around. So that's one way of doing it. I know this looks kind of weird, but the, mo the most common way of doing it, the most popular way of doing it, I just wanted to show you this method because just to show you that a, a specific image can have, you can create a selection on a specific image and then follow that path from a selection. But uh, one of the more common ways of doing it is, let's just delete Slayer by using the paths tool, instead of getting a path from a selection, just create your own path from the start. So let me go ahead and go over here. Let's delete this path here. We don't need that anymore. We can just create our own path. 
and let's select nothing here. So if I wanted to create something like this, now a pass tool can be a bit hard to use, but it isn't too difficult once you get the hang of it. It does require some practice, so I do recommend practicing a bit with it. But I think once you've practiced a bit, you'll be okay. Essentially, uh, when you when you create one dot and go to the next dot, uh, if you if you turn your if you turn the path sort of, for example, if I, if I turn the path like this, where the where the line up here, where this line is telling me it's gonna go, that's where the next path is gonna sort of curve around. So it's kind of difficult to explain. Just practice with the path, or sort of like the pen tool in Photoshop. But we have this cool little path here, right? And our text may not even be long enough to follow this path. But same same thing you do here. You go to your paths dialog box here, right? And here you have a path here, right? And what we want to do is, once again, go to our text. So make sure the text is active here. Then text along path. And look at it, it looks really cool. Now, the, like I said, the longer your text is, the, the more. Let's see if we can actually make a text longer just because it looks so cool. And I am GS, and I'm smart, making tutorials for GIMP and other soft. I probably misspelled software there, but oh well. So let's go ahead and go back over here and let's just delete this little text we had there. And once again, same thing, let's go text along path. Oh, look at that, it looks so cool. All right, there we go, that, that looks pretty cool. So now uh, we can go back to the same way, go to paths again, right? And we're gonna go to selection to path, and path to selection. Sorry, I get mixed up with selection to path and path to selection. Selection to path is basically if you have a selection made and you want to turn it into a path. Path to selection is if you have a path made, like this text or this text is part of the path, and you want to turn that text into a selection because with a selection, you can actually color it. With a path, you can't really color it. So make sure you have a, a path to selection here. And then we don't need the old text layer anymore because that was just to help us uh, copy the text onto a path so we can actually delete that but we do need a new layer so that we can actually fill this in so now we fill this in with let's use blue because why not now we fill that in and we go select none and then uh, we can hide our path hide the path and would you look at that this is my awesome path for this tutorial, and I love making YouTube videos, and I'm just going smart making uh, tutorials for GIMP and other misspelled software. But that's pretty cool. It's, it's a pretty neat little way to, to make cool text instead of having just, you know, random, boring, straight text. You can actually create your own little paths where the text follows it, and it looks really awesome. So hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial. Hopefully you understood it. Uh, like I said, if you want to use the first method, make sure that you're not uh, creating a thick selection. Because if you are creating a thick selection, like I did with a thick brush, then um, you know it'll it'll look weird. Uh, I say my, my best advice is to use the path tool always. For example, if you have an image that sort of you know curves around, just just create a path around the specific part of the image. Because it's a lot easier, it's a lot more accurate. Uh, any questions or comments, definitely leave it in the comment section below, definitely down there answering questions you may have. Plenty of other GIMP tutorials on the channel, lots of GIMP tutorials we've already made. So I think we have like over 30 GIMP tutorials, very helpful stuff. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go and subscribe, plenty of other software content on our channel, teaching you how to do things. I also have a gaming channel, a music channel, an advice channel, and a vlogging channel, as well as a Patreon if you want to check that out. Links are in the description, as well as on the end card. And with that, this is GS Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.